Yeah, what up, dudes? Okay, so this is gonna be my revised uh, Dire Mall East uh, jump run guide. This is to so these should be these runs should be about uh, ten minutes or less. Uh, we will skip Hydra Spawn. We will do Zevrim and the final boss. We actually won't kill the final boss. Um, but this is so this is a, a bit more of an advanced version. Shout out to Oracle. I learned a bunch of shit from him. Um, two things. Well, okay, you won't need a skull and pending tomb. This just makes this first part a little bit faster. And then um, invis potions. You'll need these at the end so we can reset the boss. These are pretty uh, cheap. Only like a gold, gold fifty. So they're not too bad. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start off with my skull and pending doom. I start off with void because I'm gonna sack uh, just to make sure I can use it. And uh, let's uh, get it going. Skull and pending doom here. Cross, I'm gonna jump down. Here, that's super unlucky. I got the shitty warp wood pathing. I have herbalism and shit. I actually just don't even give a fuck about herbalism, honestly. I feel like herbalism is actually just like a waste. Uh, money, to be honest. There's a dusty tome spawn over here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so back in swap back to this here we go so this is looking pretty good looking for this per first pat here hopefully you can catch this pat uh somewhere not in this uh connector if so then yeah we will have to enslave him i prefer not to enslave him just adds more time just not dealing with him in general is, is best okay so this is good just gonna keep going now, if you do run in the pad, you're gonna kill him or enslave him. Uh, enslaving him is actually faster, because uh, then you can just run with him. You can use him to fight uh, the Zevrim uh, corridor pat, and then you can also use him to fight the the corner Seder if he spawns uh, in that doorway. So uh, we're gonna run past Hydra spawn here. If he goes to the left, you can just kind of cut across. Uh, this will be a little bit close than I'd like it to be. We should be okay. Perfect. Cut across diagonal here, we're making really good time. So if this corner satyr spawns, I enslave him. If this satyr spawns, I'm enslave him. You just pretty much gonna enslave all the satyrs. You can actually, if this satyr uh, pats down and you are able to catch him on his way out, um, you can actually skip him entirely and you don't have to deal with him for the rest of the time. So again, this is the, uh, this is the uh, path that Oracle, or this is something Oracle showed me how to kill Zevrim up here without actually having to do the Hydra spawn kite, which is super nice. Um, so this pad's probably gonna be like right here or something. Okay, I don't know where the pad is. That's dope. Um, okay, so starting off with Zevrim, so standard Warlock opener. Curse of Doom is ass. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna run. Uh, so if you touch this wall, he like runs away. For whatever reason that is, he just walks away from you. So just kind of here. Don't let him get too close. I have had it where he just kind of walks up and beats my ass. Also be really careful about greeting for emulates here. I am going to greet for emulates just for the sake of time. So be super careful with that. If you do hit get hit by the sacrifice, you will die. Fun fact though, if you have a soul stone up and you do get sacked, if you res immediately, um, you can actually, well, I've survived it several times. You can survive it, uh, res immediately, run to this wall, and then just uh, restart the fight. Uh, and he actually, if you do it fast enough, he won't regen all of his life. And so again, the only thing I'm really worried about here is just making sure uh, that I don't uh, get sacked. I'm just being distracted by my whole guild shit talking to me right now because I'm speedrun master and they just haven't accepted it. So we go, dodge a sacrifice. I'm gonna go to the wall. Like I guess you want to keep him like fairly far away. If you see the sacrifice tick, just immediately move. Like it's not worth it. Do not. It just throws the whole fucking run off. It's super shitty. So I kind of want him to die when he's like right in front of me. Perfect, so we got the kill. 
It was super weird. I didn't see his his hallway pat. His hallway pat must have been like at the very tip of his uh, pathing. That was super fortunate. So this is going to be like a pretty exceptional time, I think, because I don't. I got super lucky with all these pats. Like I haven't even seen this guy yet. So now we're going to go through. We are going to brave uh, the warp woods. Nice thing is here, we're not really pressed for time. Iron Bark takes quite a minute. So I'm not gonna greed for this right here at all, actually. I'm gonna hang out for my Lasher friends. Here we go. Probably could have equipped the Skull of Doom here to make this even faster, but it, it really doesn't matter because you kind of have to, like, it'd be useful here to run this whole hallway distance. But yeah, whatever. It'll save me not that much time. It's not a big deal. Okay. So let me go down. And yeah, if you run into any of the pats, like I said, just enslave them. Uh, have Zevram eat one of them, then fucking have, you know, the other. Uh, fight, have them fight one another. Like, just enslave the pats. They're, enslave is a, is a pretty... I was pretty against it beforehand, but now I'm, like, all for enslave. Uh, it actually works really well. It saves you a lot of time. Killing those things is really fucking annoying. Uh, getting a slowing poison sucks dick. So, I'm gonna run over here. This is just to prevent a little bit of extra fall damage. Um, not that it really matters. I'm going to pull Zevram immediately. Uh... Probably should have looted that dusty tone to be honest, but I don't actually give a fuck. I need to dodge this wither. Okay, I got the resist on the wither. That's just super lucky. And then, so what I'm gonna do here is this is how you're gonna max range Kaidem to avoid him from actually casting any buffs or debuffs. Uh, so I'm gonna go here. I wonder if I can loot this dusty tone while he's in wolf mode. Let's try it. How long does this take? Oh, you can't do that while in combat. Rest in peace. Well, whatever. We're gonna miss this dusty tome. I don't give a fuck. So, uh, just going back and forth between these, these two rocks, you want to keep him at his max range right here, right? So I want him to be over there, and that's the reason why. So he went into shapeshifter mode. Uh, I'm going to jump, turn around as I jump, and line up your angle as you jump backwards, and this will ensure that you get... This is the perfect uh, kite to where I will not get any debuffs. So it's actually how I don't have to worry about, like, you know, dropping down on his, on his ass and getting, you know, hit with... I, I dodged the first wither, but you can eat one wither. You'll be fine. Um, okay, so I actually fucked it up. This is super unlucky. I might actually eat a debuff here. Okay, I got lucky again. This is just like the luckiest run of my life. This is my fucking insane pace, dude. Holy shit. Oof. Okay, we're going to dodge the wither. Not that we even need to. I'm going to let the imps kind of pat forward. You want to let everything kind of get to your left. Because you will need to uh, LOS them to get the invis pot work. Oh my god, this run is... Oh, yep. Check this shit out. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, this is fucking sick. Pop the invis potion. Oh fuck. Right past the amps. It's 8:09. Oh no, dude. Damn, this is a sub 10 run. Hmm. All I have to say is fuck you, spleen. And that is it, boys. That is a uh. Well, you could call it, depending on where you want to call your time, that's an eight and a half minute run. Again, this is uh, this is a super lucky run. The fact that, like, I didn't get, I resisted his fucking wither, didn't get any debuffs, somehow dodged. So the corner satyrs spawned in one of the, op one of the, the non, like, uh, crucial corners, and then I somehow dodged the Zevrim pat and the fucking, um, conservatory pat so yeah this was super lucky but it doesn't matter because it's a sub 10 and like i said you run into those you run into those mobs you, and you will run into those mobs like this is you will not just gonna nat normally drop just nine minute runs um but yeah so 
that's pretty much it. You saw it's the same reset pattern as before. We have the same kite pattern to prevent his uh, his debuffs. Uh, like I said, you can do this in any spec. Probably not. There's probably a minimal gear requirement, but nothing insane. Uh, 922 is the final time. Dope. Uh, so it's a 922 run. Um, and yeah. But as I said before, just to kind of recap, I'm running this in 450 Shadow Power, so I'm like pretty geared on this. Uh, no real spec requirements. I'm actually planning on running this as PvP Destro. The nice thing about uh, these invis potions, they allow you to skip the second imp reset. Um, so I don't have to ever worry about it. These are pretty cheap, by the way. These are like a gold, gold 50. Um, and yeah, that is, a, that is the new finalized version. Um, and these runs on average will take you about 10 minutes. The last run I did was 1018. And I ran into two pads. So probably around 10 minutes is what you're going to be looking at. Uh, and there you guys go. Deuces.